just wow i'm actually um speechless about this chapter i mean for two reasons i mean first of all if the chapter was f great i mean i'm trying not to swear right now because i'm actually freaking hyped right now um and secondly i'm a little bit pissed off as well because it felt so quick i felt like it took me a minute to read this chapter. I know, yeah, guys, Bleach is a really quick chapter to go through. It doesn't take that long. I know most of it is just, you know... I mean, Kubo's style is just like, it's really character-orientated. So the characters take up most of the panels, massive panels, white backgrounds, whatever. But you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a fan of the art style of Bleach. I like it. But goddamn, this chapter was quick. I mean, for Bleach, it went quick. I mean, maybe because it was so it's epic as well that it went so quick. I don't know, but... I'm gonna stop bitching about it. I'm just gonna do the review now. Anyway, uh, guys, this is Christmas Eve manga here. I'm gonna review this chapter of Bleach. First of all, we we get we guess you know I mean a lot of people had a little question. I mean okay, I'm not even making sense anymore, guys. Let me just straighten myself out. First of all, there was a few things that I was questioning last week with Zangetsu revealing that you know oh, his hollow powers were the ones that helped him in certain situations. Then I was thinking. Okay, the five Kenpachi, I know that, you know, he said he stopped Ichigo's bleeding, and then we can assume that it's something to do with Quincy's ability, and that gets confirmed in this chapter, that, you know, he used his Quincy's ability to stop the bleeding, or, you know, the Quincy Shroud, I think it was something to do, it's obviously a Quincy ability that helped him, you know, against Kenpachi, and then when he summoned his Rietsu, you can see that was his hollow power, you know, manifesting as well, his real Zanpato, so... Throughout his time, Zangetsu, Zangetsu wasn't just using, you know, um, Hollow Ichigo's or the real... <laughs> what, what are we going to call him? I mean, because with this chapter, they're both called Zangetsu's. They're called the Zangetsu's. So, I mean, I'm going to call him Juha Zangetsu and I'm going to call real Zangetsu... Zangetsu? Okay, you guys cool with that? Anyway, so Juha Zangetsu has been helping Ichigo as well. You know, the blood vein thing and, you know... And I think there's another situation where Ichigo, you know, used, they both fuse their power together. I mean, yeah, so he hasn't just sitting back, he hasn't just been sitting back all this time and then not really, you know, having a hands-on approach with battle, basically. Well, where he can, he has helped Ichigo with his own power, so Ichigo appreciates him for that. Now, in this chapter, Ichigo is basically saying that, you know, everything that you've done for me, I can't, I can't just, you know, disregard you, you know what I mean? You are, to me, you and him, referring to the rules on Getsu, are both. Zangetsu, you are my power. So Ichigo is, even though you know Juha Zangetsu said he's gonna take a step back, you know, and let Ichigo, you know, become a full Shinigami. Um, you know, Ichigo doesn't want doesn't want that to happen. He actually, he I think he values um Juha Zangetsu so much that he actually wants him to become a part of his true power as well. He doesn't want him to just vanish. He actually wants him there. So you know, we cut back to the scene now. We see that you know, um, Omai, uh, what's his name? Omai, uh, you know. Zero Division dude, he's still constructing the sword, the Zanpakuto, and um, Oetsu, sorry, Oetsu, keep forgetting his name, Oetsu, um, is constructing the Zanpakuto sword, and, you know, he's about to call it off, and then Ichigo actually just runs in, and he, he grabs the Zanpakuto, and then, you know, his, his girls or whatever, they're like, you know, what are you doing, don't touch it, leave it alone, and then Oetsu is like, you know what, nah, leave it, you know, Ichigo, you know, you pour your soul into it, pull it out, and, you know, look at Yin Zanpakuto, so Ichigo actually just Pulls it out now, and then the sheer heat of it actually dries up the surrounding uh, water. So basically, it's like they're, you know, they're on a cliff style, basically, and then it's surrounded by water. That all just dries up completely. So that was, looking at that in the panel, that was a badass scene. I mean, that's the kind of stuff I love from Kubo. It's, it's art style makes stuff like that just look amazing. I mean, yeah, that's why the Bleach art style is just, I mean, second to none right now in Shonen Jump. That's me. That's my opinion anyway. So, um... Pulls it out. Now, this is where I my mouth dropped because, you know, <sighs> Ichigo is a cool guy now. And then, you know, I think we all had the same, you know, we weren't expecting what we saw in this chapter. I wasn't expecting what I saw. I was expecting, you know, like a Zun gets you type sword, maybe something a little bit smaller, something, you know, with a hill on it, with a guard maybe. What I got was complete, completely shatters everything I had. Um, thought that I would, I would see from Ichigo. First of all, I didn't even expect to see the Zampa this chapter. I mean, I thought Kubo was going to troll us and then we're going to jump somewhere else uh, completely. But then, no, we didn't get that. He, he's continuing this, which is good. 
because it, it just it just it made me hype. So he pulls it out, and then Ichigo has dual zombie toes. So he has two swords. We have, we have a short sword and a long sword, and they look frigging amazing. I mean, they look cool. I might just be fanboying right now, but I mean that they look awesome. And it makes so much sense because, you know, he technically has two spirits inside of him. So why not have two Zanpato's, one representing each of the spirits? Cool. Awesome. Good idea. That's great. So, you know, we the short, I'm pretty much sure, I'm, okay, I'm positive the, sh the short blade is Juha Zangetsu. And I'm sure the longer one is probably Zangetsu. So, I mean... Yeah, I mean, that's awesome. Designs are great. I, mean, I like the fact that Ichigo's sleeves are gone. I think Ichigo should probably stay like that. I mean, it looks cool. It looks better. I mean, he has like the Hisagi type um, vibe going on right now. You know, you know the sleeveless um, kimono with the two, you know, weapons kind of thing. It looks awesome. So, I mean, thumbs up for the new Zanpato designs. I absolutely love them now. And then we get this little, you know, monologue, you know, Ichigo thinking to himself that, you know, I, I won't ever... Um, ask you to lend me your power, you know, I won't ever, referring to Juha Zangetsu, I won't ever ask you not to get in the way, referring to Zangetsu, and he says, and then we get to this little panel now, where we see when they combined, he says, you know, I won't ever ask you to fight with me, basically, so he's basically saying that, um, I'm not thinking, thinking of you guys as an extension of me, I'm thinking of you guys, you are me, we are one, basically, so he's saying, I'm going to fight with my own power, so he acknowledges that, all of them is him, he is them, they're all one being basically. Which is awesome, I mean that's what Zanpato's are, they are you. It's you know, essentially a manifestation of your power basically. So Ichigo's finally got in his head now that, you know, Hollow Zangetsu, Zon get, Hollow, Hollow Ichigo wasn't just this annoying dickhead that would always interrupt him. That is his power, that is him trying to help, you know, trying to connect. Juha Bach is no longer upset. <laughs> Juha Zangetsu, dude, this is so this is so confusing. Juha Zangetsu is no longer this person who I have to rely on all the time. No, please give me your power. Please help me. I don't know what to do. Help. What do I do? No, you are me. You are my power, basically. So I think Ichigo has come full circle of his ability now. He's finally acquired his full power, which thank fuck for that. So maybe we won't get any more training arcs, any more power up, um, um, you know, power up bits or you know when they go for the training arts yeah not none of that anymore we is that he's, he's peaked right now so now we can get down to business now saying that i'm sure that there's going to be a situation where he needs to train a little bit more i mean that's a given it's shown and jump but i really hope this is it for it i mean this is the end of it basically and he's just going to go into battle and just fuck up juha botch and just get this shit over with obviously i don't want to be that quick because i mean we all know that bleach this is the last arc and i wanted to <laughs> It's probably a dumb thing to say, but I actually wanted to drag out as much as par possible because I just love Bleach that much. I really don't want to see it end so soon. But, I mean, I'm super psyched about this chapter. And that, that I mean, believe it or not, yeah, chapter doesn't end like that. We actually got a bit more. We see that Juha Botch is, you know, rallying the troops, basically. All the, the uh, <laughs> all the Quincy's are waving their, their jewelry in the air. I mean, the Quincy cross. I, <laughs> I just find it funny that they're, they're just waving it. Anyway, they're, they're, they're rallying, the, he's rallying the troops. They're going to go somewhere and then... It cuts stuff like that. So we don't know what Juha Bach is going to do. He said, you know, Stern Ritters, are you ready? So are they going to go back to Soul Society just to completely crush it now? I mean, what's their plan? What are they going to do now? I mean, we, we know that um, Ishi, Ishida is with them. So what's his role in this story? I mean, is he a spy? Is, has he really, you know, changed size? Has he done a Sasuke? We don't really know what's going to happen. But, but I mean, right now, um, there's a lot to speculate what's going on. But I mean... I'm giving the chapter 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 easily, just for the sole fact of Ichigo is Zampato looking badass, Ichigo coming to terms with his power, everything is kind of being explained, I mean, Kubo's doing a good job explaining, you know, the mistakes he's made in the past, or was these, were these really mistakes, or were these things that he actually left as plot holes because he had intended for this to happen, we, don't, we can't really say for sure, a lot of people are saying, nah, it's mistakes that he's trying to fill, he's trying to fix, some people say, no, he planned this, he was deliberate. We don't really know what's going on in Kuba's head, but all I know is I'm fucking loving it right now, so I'm not complaining. Anyway, guys, again, this is Chris for C Manga here, and if you enjoyed the review, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Take care.